Jesus Christ. But what? Did something happen? Why? I heard you said you were a fornicator and then you were I was a drunkard. I was a liar. What happened? I was a brawler. I was a thief. But Jesus Christ came into my life and changed me. I repented of all my sins. Were you sitting on the curb one day, blacked out? You No, no, no. I was in my bedroom by myself, completely sober. I just knew I was on my way to hell. I knew my sin was going to cost me. What happened? Well, I mean, you have a conscience. You know it, too. Yeah, I don't think I'm on my way to hell. Well, I mean, you're deceiving yourself then. I just be surprised. That's what the Bible says. If you read the Bible every day, you should be. Well, God calls you to repent. Stop really loving God through repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. We don't have to go to God loves you as much as he loves me. Everybody right, but that's not the question. The question is, do you love God? Yes, you love God. But if you love God, you'll keep you his can. commandments. This is correct. So if you're sinning, you don't love God. So do you never sin? Like, do I, I live a holy life. I obey God. Right, like, like, like only Lord, God can judge? Today is the day of salvation. So many are so proud of themselves. They're so proud of themselves in their sin. They're so proud of their sin. But the Bible says, God resists the proud. You can love God. God resists the proud. So if you're prideful right now, if you're prideful right now, God is resisting you. He's resisting you. You need to know that if you die in your sins, you're going to come under the wrath of Almighty God. But Jesus Christ came into this world and demonstrated his love for you on the cross. God demonstrated his love for us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. It's, it's not for a righteous man, you know, that, that he died. But Christ came into the world and died for the ungodly. The ungodly, for, for you. And for me, I was ungodly. I was uh, going the opposite direction that God wanted me to go. I was doing my own thing. Just like many of you, you're just doing what you want to do. That's your, that's your philosophy. You do what you want to do. You have your own plans. You have your own goals, right? You decide what you're going to study. You decide what, what uh, degrees you're going to get. You make all your choices. But at the end of your life, you're going to appear before Almighty God. You're going to give an account for your life. You have an appointment that you're going to keep. Hey Amen. And we're here to, to plead for you. Oh, God. Thank God you. God is Amen. pleading through us for you to get reconciled with God. Amen. See, your sins have separated you from God. Your sins are separating you from God. And that's why, you know, you wake up and you don't think about God. Like, Many of you, you don't think about God. You uh, you think about yourself. Okay. Every morning. You think about yourself. You're, full you're not full of God. I you're full of his God. I'm drinking. You're not obeying him, though. Damn, if I'm drinking. 
Yeah, I mean, well, why are you drinking? That's exactly, exactly the definition of someone's life that is separate from God. Your sins have separated you from your God. Okay, thank you. But we want you to be man. united with him. I was separated from God. But thank God that he comes and seeks to save that which is lost. Jesus Christ is seeking to save you. He's seeking you right now. And that's why we're here. We're here because the love of Jesus Christ compels us to be here. The love of Jesus Christ moves us to be here out of love for you because we don't want you to un end up under the wrath of God. Right. God is holy. That means he's separate from sinners. He's not like us. He's perfectly righteous in, in all of his ways. He's perfectly good. God is love. Oh, but see, that's not us. That's Drop not something, us. Man. Drop you need to examine yourself and see that, whoa, you're nothing like God. And that you need him, you need him to save you from yourself. You need him to save you from yourself. What are we protesting? I'm not protesting anything. You're a sin. You have a question, go ahead. You're protesting what? What are you protesting? I'm, I'm protesting sin. That's right. I'm protesting sin. I don't want you to die in your sin. That's what. That's why we're here. Well, she had a question first. So, should you be rude to interrupt? Sorry, no. You have a conscience, right? So, you think it's rude to interrupt? Oh my, you're my friend. It's not like that. It's not rude to interrupt people. No. no I don't want to interrupt friends, interrupt. Yeah. Until someone interrupts you. Okay. That's right. But it's rude to interrupt, isn't it? It's rude to interrupt. No, I, I'm the one preaching the gospel here, sir. I'm preaching the gospel. Go ahead, yeah, ask the question. Can I one of these? When are you going to die? Something for you. Okay, so do you think it's wise to sin for three more years when you don't know when you're going to die? Do you know that? Do you know that as a fact? So that makes you God, and so you know everything, right? That makes you God. But, but we all know that you're not God, and you don't know everything. You need him. So all the days allotted for you, I'm, I'm, I'm answering your question real quick. All the days allotted for you are written in his book before one begin. God knows all the days that you're going to live. And your life is like a vapor. Your life is like a vapor. It's here today, gone tomorrow. So the wisest thing you can do is today get right with God. Today, if you don't know if you have tomorrow. I mean, I, I mean that's, 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 uh, that's not something... He, he does love you. He does love you. No matter what you do, God does love you. But it doesn't mean that you're going to be saved. It doesn't mean that you're entering into his love. Yeah, he's, it's like his hand is outstretched to you, like this. Young lady, God loves you like this. I love you, but you need to turn from your sin and come to me. Turn from your sin and come to me. I love you. I love you. See, you're not willing to do that, but God does love you. His hand is outstretched to you all day long. That's what the Bible says. His hand is outstretched to a stiff-necked and rebellious people. His hand is outstretched to people that hate him. His hand's outstretched. His nail-pierced hand is outstretched. Hey, bro. Yeah, you go to church, but you need to go to hey, Jesus. Good to see you. you got to go to Jesus. Is correct. I have a question. Yes. Well, that's not true. So Jesus Christ says yeah, this. Welcome. He said, unless you repent, you will all likewise Thanks, perish. Welcome. So repentance is turning from your sin, having godly sorrow over your sin, like being sorrowful, like you've done wrong. You're sorrowful, not to, not to people, but to him. You're sorrowful, and that leads you to not do it anymore. You're so sorry Lord. before God that you cut it off. That's why Jesus said, if your hand causes you to sin, Mark chapter 9, this, this is radical. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. If your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Your foot, cut it off. It's better for you to enter into life having one hand, one eye, one foot, than to be cast into the fire that will never be quenched. So he's not talking about physical body parts. He's talking about the sin in your life, the influences that are in your life. And it, and it might be painful. It might be painful to get those things out of your life, but then he'll heal you, right? And he'll fill you up, and you'll never lack any good thing. That's his promise for you. Sure. What's up, bro? How you doing? 
pretty good. Yeah, Dude, my bad. I was waiting for the call. I was just reading in my car. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I thought I texted in the group. I was like, yo, call me when y'all go out there. I'll walk well, in. there's there's degrees yeah, of punishment. Yeah, in I couldn't like check okay. the signal. To Jesus see said right here, so. on, in, on the day of judgment, oh, some will be beaten with many stripes, some with lesser stripes, meaning there's God is righteous. He's the righteous judge. He's coming to judge the world in righteousness. So he's the perfectly righteous judge, right? So someone who does a lot more evil is going to get a lot greater judgment. I already got one. Okay. Yeah, I get but here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you, if you lie one time, what does that make you? A liar, right? And the Bible says, I know, but but I'm not saying that you're you're as bad as Hitler. I'm not saying you're as bad as Adolf Hitler, but you're still a liar. Okay, Jesus is Jewish. Yeshua is his name one. right here. Okay, so you know that. So he's, you're, the Messiah would be Jewish, right? He's the promised Messiah to the Jews first. Welcome. Wait, what is well, I'm saying he's evil. Fear God? Okay. Uh, so I'm saying. Well, the Bible talks about fearing God, keeping his commandments, evil. departing okay. from sin. So he's going to receive, to receive great judgment. Well, because he tells you to. He commands you to. He tells you to fear him. They reject him. Well, I mean, they're when you fear something, it's just, you, you stop they're doing it, right? Like, you, if you're afraid you'll get hit by a car, you wouldn't well, go play in the road. So I need to be afraid of God. Well, judge perfectly right. well, if you're in your sin, you should be really afraid of God. Can I, can I give you something? Because in your sin, you're in trouble. You're in danger of going to hell for all for eternity. Yeah. Well, if I'm good, I don't need to fear God. Okay. But are you good? Are you living in sin? All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. God bless. That was Jesus. Turn to your Savior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. For sure. Hey, man, something for you, man. What's that? Close. Bryce? Yeah, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Bryce. Yeah, I've seen some of the videos. Okay. So, what, where are you at next, right now, man? I'm trying to walk the wall. Right? I re really, everything changed like last semester. Okay. Like, it never like had any real meaning, but it definitely does now. Okay. So you're, you're born again then? Yeah. Gave your life to Jesus Christ? Turn yeah. from all your sin? Walk with him in holiness? I still have some sin, but like really... Like currently you have sin? Like unrepentant sin in your life? Right now? As of yeah. last week, I guess. Oh, I'm talking about right now, though. Oh, no. Okay, that's good. That's good. You, you want to make sure you're clean before the Lord, before you strive to come out and minister to somebody else. Yeah. Got to make sure you're clean. I came to, yeah, like read and say it, but... Hallelujah. Okay. Yeah, I mean... As, as Christians, we, we have the ability to sin, obviously. Yeah. It's a possibility of sin. We want to make sure we're clean. And if, if we find sin in our lives, through the conviction of the Holy Spirit, we get rid of it immediately. Yeah. You know? Amen. I know that there's always a way out from temptation. Amen. Yeah. First Corinthians 10, 13. That's right. Praise God. Well, I'm glad you're out here with us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So much better you're here than with those <laughs> Praise people. the Lord. Is that what you're testing? You used to go... To the bar and stuff like that, or it's not, that not really. Okay, Jesus, right, that's good. Amen. Jesus, yeah, our testimony Jesus, isn't always how bad we were. Sweetest right? name yeah. I know. It, it's actually like I tell my children, it's better to never go that way that I went than to have to, you know, have to repent of that stuff. Well, yeah, a lot of time, you know, even if you think you're good, like once you your eyes been open, like you know, you're yeah, not good. Yeah. Right, exactly. Even if you think, oh, like I don't do that much stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. Yeah, for yeah. sure. You're definitely. Totally. Hey, man, glad you're out here, man. Yeah, praise, praise God. Do you need some tracks or anything to pass out? Praise yeah, the Lord. Yeah, I'll take some. There you go. Don't the stack here. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know if I'll get that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. No, you're not, ma'am. You're not no. saved. Not with that filthy mouth. She ain't saved from her filthy mouth. <laughs> it wasn't like a first to begin with. Like, Did you get a trip? Yeah, I trimmed it myself. Yeah. It was time. It was getting a little scraggly. Yeah, you... Well, I just did it. Was that today? Oh, uh, well, no. I had it last night. I didn't notice it. Yeah, yeah. That's okay, bro. I forgive you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to cut my hair next. I'll take yeah. it.
Something to read, something to read. Follow Jesus Christ, he died for you. I'm atheist. Okay, well, atheists are fools according to the word of God. Don't be are fools according to the word of God. Huh? Atheists are fools according to the word of God. I don't believe in the word of God. Your lack of belief does not make it go away. You can stand, you can, you can stand out in this road and say that car doesn't exist, it's gonna run you over. You believe in miracles though. That's all you got, huh? No, I don't. I believe in shit. I have angel numbers, I don't believe in shit. Lord, Lord, Lord. What is this one? You have no excuse for your sins. You are fully responsible. Repent of your sins. Let her read the sign. What's wrong with reading the sign? Don't mock God by saying praise the Lord. You don't love Jesus if you're following Jesus. Sinning is never fun for a Christian. Sinning is never fun for a Christian. Praise God. Are you the inbred? Jesus said. You're the inbred. You're the fucking inbred. I fucking knew Whatever you hear, Did you all come from the same amoeba? What? Did you all come from the same amoeba millions of years ago? So that's why Bitch, we're here. I don't believe in shit. I have angel numbers. Do I believe in it? No, I got it because I thought it was cute. I don't believe in shit. You believe in evolution, obviously. No, I don't. Who said I do? You what do you, said what I do you believe do. in? You said I Wait, do. How do. Where do we come from? I don't believe in anything. Do you know English? Where did we come from? I don't from? believe in anything. Is that something right there? I don't believe in anything. Is that something? Fuck you. Fuck you and your fuck ass GoPro, bitch. Stop. Fuck you first, bitch. That's why you're in a fucking lamb to cry fright. You're ugly as fuck, you dumb fucking cunt. Yeah, you pay for fucking friends, you dumb bitch. He's not a friend. Okay, well, so he looks like a dumb fucking fuck ass friend. That's the pretty judgment. Of your heart, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you and your speaks. fucking friends. So it's all you have, really huh? tell a lot by Body what's mouth. coming out of someone's mouth. Um, whether it doesn't it's change the fact. And all kinds of foul language and all kinds of anger and wrath and malice. Um, you can tell a lot about where a person's heart's at. And when the Lord comes into someone's life, there's going to be a difference. The Lord makes a difference in your life. When He comes into your life, He changes everything. He changes everything. No, it's a relationship. The Bible says if anyone's in Christ, he's a brand new creation. Old things have passed away. All things become brand new. Brand new. And there's a narrow way that leads to life, and there's few that find it. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ says. It's a narrow way. And here we are today. Um, we're just those who have found the narrow way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. And we're here because we're on the narrow way that leads to life. And many of you, you're on the broad way that Jesus Christ said is leading you to destruction. And he said, most people are on that way. Most people, they want to go their own way. They want to do their own thing. It's called the broad way that leads to destruction. But God is standing in your path. You know, and he's saying, hey, turn back. Jesus. He's saying, not turn if you're sinning, you don't. He's saying, not if you're sinning, you don't. Sinning? I'm not a sinner. Are you here to sin tonight? There's a lot I'm, of, uh, are you here to get drunk and party? I'm in a special team. What are you here to do tonight? I'm in a special team. Hang on, my friend. Christ. What, are they, what, uh, what does that mean? Drinking is not a sin. Getting drunk is a sin. No, it's not. Jesus only slammed wine in the Bible. He didn't slam wine. The Bible never says that. You made that up in your own head to justify your sin. The Bible never says Jesus Christ slammed wine. Did he drink wine? Didn't slam wine. Did he drink wine? Are you going to drink wine tonight? That's like one yes. percent alcohol, or beer is like or beer is like six ten percent alcohol. Wine's like eleven. No, not the wine Jesus drank was it? He drank even stronger. Where's that? Where's the proof of that? Where's your proof for that? No, it's not fact. Where's your proof for that? No, I mean he drank alcohol. He drank alcohol. So your whole your whole eternity is resting upon a lie. You think No, it's not a lie. Yeah, it's your whole eternity is resting upon a lie that Jesus Christ slam wine. You know that what? was high alcohol content. I'm but sure you know, he, he didn't mean slam wine, but he no, I mean That's what he said. I mean, like, down on one knee, just slamming a bottle of wine. It's funny, huh? No, I love it. It's funny. It's funny. funny. It's funny. It's funny to accuse Jesus Christ of sin. It's a joke. He's kidding. Jesus Christ is not a joke. He laughed. Either is a turn. He's a joke. I'm not saying Jesus is a joke. He's turned into a joke. No, dude. He's turned Jesus Christ into a joke. I read the Bible every night. But it hasn't changed you. You're out here sitting with the rest of your friends. The Holy Spirit loves everyone. Jesus loves everyone. Be real with yourself. We have different views. Because listen, you could die tonight, and then you're going to have to be as real as real can be. Because God ain't playing games. Jesus loves everyone. If you say, 
kidding, kidding. Having a good time is sinning. Yes. It's a sin to sin, of course. It's a sin to what? Get drunk? Of course it is. It's a sin to lust. It's a sin to fornicate. It's a sin to have a filthy word come out of your mouth. It's a sin to have blasphemy of God's name come out of your mouth. So I got a big sin. What's that? I'm married. I have eight children. Eight. My, my sex doesn't condemn me like your sex does. I was just asking. I mean, uh, I, I, I was just asking. Yeah. Yeah, so fornication, which I was a fornicator before I became a Christian. Okay? I was in trouble. Go Braves. I was not like, like you guys were. Go Braves. But then Christ saved me and I was changed. What's that? Because he wants us to see whether we have real faith or not. Real faith. Do you have real faith? Jesus Christ. Why? Did something happen? Why? I heard you said you were a fornicator and then you were I was a drunkard. I was a liar. I was a thief. I was a brawler. I was a thief. But Jesus Christ came into my life and changed me. I, 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 I repented of all my sins. Were you sitting on the curb one day, blacked out? You no, no, no. I was in my bedroom by myself, completely sober. I just knew I was on my way to hell. I knew my, my sin was going to cost me. What happened? You know well, I mean, you have a conscience. You know it, too. Yeah, I don't think I'm on the right now. Well, I mean, you're deceiving yourself then. I just be That's what the Bible says. If you read the Bible every day, you should know that. Huh? If you repent your sins, well, that, calls you, that means you're a drunkard. And the Bible says drunkards will not inherit his kingdom. But you don't have to agree with me or not. But God's word. denomination. What's your denomination? No denomination. First Corinthians chapter 6. I'll show you. Want to read it? Yeah. I do. I'm just curious. I'm yeah. genuinely because trying to learn. It supports our sexual mores. It supports our. What do you say? It says drunkards. That's right. That's First what Corinthians mean. chapter six. This yeah. is New Testament. So later you had you you thought you were going to hell. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's a respect. I'm just trying to talk to you. Let me read this verse for a little bit. I'll get. I'll continue with my testimony. All right. Okay. First Corinthians chapter six, and we'll start in verse nine right there. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals. Fuck the homosexuals! Hold on, hold on, dude. Nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Okay. So people who do those things will inherit his kingdom. But drunkards? I feel like drunkards are different from occasionally getting drunk. What do you call someone who gets drunk? Merciful to you. What do you call someone who lies? What? What do you call someone who lies? So he doesn't deserve that kind of heart. Consistently? No, just a or just someone, someone who lies. They're a liar. Someone who steals the thief. No, no, someone no, who steals the thief. Only That's once, I mean. only Turn stealing around. one time oh, makes true. you a thief. Oh, only lying one time makes you a liar. Only getting drunk one time makes you a liar. But in that context, in that context, I think that drunkards no. is meaning like alcoholics. No, no, like, That's not what the That's word means. That's not what the word means. And, how, and, and if that was true, where is the line between drunkard and alcoholic? And where does the Bible describe that? Drunk. See, you just, you, just made, you just made that rule because you're a drunkard yourself. No, no, no. no, no. I have a respectful conversation. No, I'm, I'm not being disrespectful. Hey, you're just I'm like, simply pointing out the fact. I'm not being so hostile. You drunk a once, you're a drunkard. I'm not hostile at all. Right. Jesus got I'm just drunk. passionate about Jesus truth. Got drunk. I, I, he did not get drunk. He got drunk. Now you're a blasphemer. He got turned up. You're accused of Jesus Christ of being a sinner. And if Jesus Christ is a sinner, you have no hope. And he's after he's you. He's the only way you I'll can be saved from your sin. You know, you can mock all you want, man. It's not going to help you on judgment day, man. Your mockery is not going to help you, man. Jesus Christ is your only hope as a sinner. The sinless Savior, Jesus Christ, is your only hope. So do you believe, like, everyone out here is going to hell? Everyone who's a sinner out here is going to hell, yes. So everyone who's going to the bar, James. He's going to hell, yes, Georgia has. But the Bible teaches you. He's going to, he goes to Georgia. He's going to hell. I'll sweep the sound that saved a wretch. But no one here has to go to hell. Can we fight to see if he's in heaven or not? No, I'm not from Auburn. Where are you from? Fight for heaven? Fight for heaven. Let's do it. Fight for heaven. The Grant? Okay. Hell yeah. I'm from Marietta. Okay. okay. I'm not big from there. That's where I live now for the last five years. Where are you from? New York. Oh, really? Long, Long, Long Island. Island. Oh, really? Well, I, I got hey, what the hell you? you down here? <laughs> God did. Oh, wow. Good for you. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Well, I'm, I'm a pastor. I'm an evangelist. Can I'm a graphic like designer. Can I ask what kind of church? You're a big church. It's a non-denominational church. Is it in Auburn? No. It's about an hour away. It's about an hour away. I got you. So are all these guys from your church? <laughs> um, well, except for one, maybe. A couple, yeah, a couple aren't from our oh, church. Yeah. They, 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 there's several students from Auburn here who we know. Are you a father? Am I a father? Yeah. Well, I told you earlier, I have, I have eight children. Oh, yeah. When there is a way a that yeah. God wants you to be. Are you guys a part of And there's of a way that the devil wants so you to So I go to Georgia. But 
there's also UGA and F. Fuck yes, UGA. Yes, I appreciate it before. Wait, straight to hell. Oh. UGA. No, there's I would never use the F word. All right, well. Is using F there's a group, or there's a group similar to y'all. I don't want to say the same because I don't know if they're saying the exact same things. But are y'all connected? I don't know who you're talking about. I'm not connected to anyone in Athens. There's literally just a corner with people no. with signs. No, I'm not connected to anyone in Athens. It's the same thing. I'm not connected to anyone in Athens. What does your hat mean? You know what it means. Dear God, what does it mean? After um, God, only within the literal meaning, like I know there's something deeper behind it. Sure was, uh, well, the Bible commands you to fear God. I don't start God. nothing, I just finish okay. it. That's the, the fear of God is the beginning God, of wisdom. Here, so that's I'll explain a little bit for you too. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God will cause you to depart from sin. You know, if you're a sinner, you should tremble at the fact that if you die in your sin, you're going to go to hell. Yeah. All right, let's run around. the fear God and depart from sin. If you can cover me, then the devil would want you to act. Then you, you it's the beginning of wisdom. That's weird. I feel like there's just so I'm many different things. The, the thing is, like, I obviously I respect all perspectives. Like, 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 I know, like, y'all think yours is right, we think ours is right. I don't know as much to argue with you about anything, and I like hearing what you're talking about. But my mom, we're Methodists. My mom is a saint of a woman. Do you know who started Methodism? John Wesley. You know what he did? That's exactly what we're doing right now. Are you? No, preaching the word. Of God in public places. Yeah. Is he a good guy? Oh, he was great. He was awesome. No, I'm not that's the thing. Far cry from what it was at the beginning, though. That's the thing with me is like my mom is a saint of a woman, like the best woman I've ever met in my life. She means the world to me. She got drunk though. She has the. I'm sure, like, if she was here right now, she wouldn't argue with you. She would like, she would tell you like, you're a nice guy and, and go about her day. But the thing about that is like, I just respect who she is and I love her to death. And she goes, she'll come out and drink with us, and so she. She's not a, no, so a, you just a, think she's a sinner. Like well, she is. That's what the Bible teaches. So, yeah, but so a saint in the Bible, not a, not a Roman Catholic one you put on a necklace and pray to. Yeah. Okay, who's dead? But a saint in the Bible is a Christian. A saint comes from the. Well, not like an actual. I, I'm using that. Figure. No, I understand what you're saying. I'm just trying to help you understand. Yeah. In the scripture, it actually, is the word saint used. Yeah. It comes from the Greek hagiazo. It means holy one. Who was set apart from sin and set apart to God's work. That's what a saint is in the scripture. Yeah. He's Jewish. What does that mean? Though? Wait, what does it mean? Like what's gonna happen then? He's Jewish. Why you need to trust? Yeah. You need to trust your Jewish Messiah, Jesus Christ. Have you read Isaiah 53? The prophet Isaiah. Recite it. Chapter 53. Jesus is. I ain't gotta recite shit. Why well, don't I just ask you to recite? I'm asking you to read it before. Yeah. I, I can quote it for you if you'd like. I'd like to hear it. Okay. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we can be healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. That's about Jesus Christ, obviously. No, I agree there. It's your prophet. And so all the early disciples were, were, were Jewish people. I agree. All the apostles were Jewish. Jesus was Jewish. And you need to trust in the Jewish Messiah. Turn from all sin and follow him in obedience. Because God is calling us to something deeper. He's calling us to something deeper. is tough. Where did you get it? I had it made myself. You know what? I had it made myself. You made it yourself? No, I had it made. You had it made? Yeah. How much did it cost? I just, uh, it was a long time ago. I can't remember. He's asking you to repent, to turn from it. You're Jewish. You don't believe in God. That's not true. That's not true. He doesn't know anything. He's also gay. He's lying. He's Jewish and gay. He's gay, okay? I don't believe a word he says. You don't have to tell me. He's gay, okay? No. Oh, if you mean by gay, happy, yeah, it's okay to be happy. No, no, no. It's not okay to be a homosexual. Hold that Bible verse. Sex with That's bestiality, man. Hold okay. that verse. Right with God. You can stop living for the shameful things that you're living for in this world. Because you know, when you mock at sin, you're actually mocking your own, your own eternity. Vaping, okay? We're in a what do you say? Vaping. But vaping. Well, of course not. <laughs> of course There's not. Smoking cigarettes when you're filled of course with the Have you ever done a lot? Have you ever done what? A lot. I've never done drugs in my life. We're about to change that tonight. Except for alcohol. Except for alcohol. You're not going to do any of those things if you're filled with the Holy Spirit Is everyone from here, like, from the grain? But if you're filled with So how are you so, like, so you say if you grew up and whatever you're doing all this, Dumb shit. I wasn't raised a Christian. Yeah. Where were you raised? Nothing. Um, I mean, a lot of 
we went to like Catholic church like on the holidays. Yeah, so that's it. So you said you grew up and you were making all these bad decisions, and then one day God came into your life and changed you. So since then, have you just been like studying everything and like becoming like, like I asked you a Bible verse, you can recite it. Like are you that knowledgeable? Like you just been studying it. Well, I've been a Christian for 26 and a half years. Yeah, you just been. You just, yeah, I imagine studying the same subject for 26 and a half years. Yeah. You should be, you should be pretty knowledgeable about right that. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been doing. Yeah. Why don't you just get drunk? But yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't like, like I heard the gospel the first time. I didn't, I rejected it. I like my partying. I like getting drunk, like fornicating women. So I didn't want to hear it. And but people kept God sending more people in my life to preach the gospel to me. And eventually, I began to realize, even at 19 years old, the frailty of my life. That could okay. die at any time, you step into eternity. And if I did, I was going to hell. I know I deserved it. I knew that's where I was going. But then, when I heard the message of Jesus Christ and his death and burial and resurrection on the cross and his love for me, the only proper response to such love as that is to love him back by giving him my whole life. Okay, drink That's what it is. I gave him my whole life, and it's like been different. Since you confirm, I got confirmed. Okay. Okay. Sounds great, but obviously reality. we have different it's, views on what that really means. Well, being confirmed is not how you get saved. The you said you must yeah, be born that. again. I'm just saying, you must like, be born again, he says. Yes, 100%. Yeah, this glamorous picture of sin. That, but you know what? Long story. Basically, I had a horrible yeah. loss in my family, and that like, threw me away from Christ. I wrongly blamed him. Yeah, not necessarily blamed him. It was like... Eternity. of anyone that it could have happened to she's the last person that she's ever okay. happened to yeah. we don't want you to and go so there. since then I was never as close it's to my faith as I used to be and I know going to church every Sunday perish. doesn't mean you're a good but Christian that all but that's what I was doing and I, I was happier will. I feel like overall God's and it was to making me better Take that track. but uh, ever since then it's never been the same but I, I'm, I'm trying to get back into it but then like y'all are saying all this stuff is like stuff I've never heard yeah. You know, well, just straight like from the scripture. Do you think all these people are going to hell? Well, I, I can't say all of them are. Okay, I don't, I don't know their hearts. Like all these kids, if you ever come to college, if they're here to sin, they're stupid, they're underage, they come to the bars, get him, fucked up, you think they're all going to hell? God, they're sinning, they're, they're going to hell. Did he smoke? But Jesus is a God of forgiveness. So he can forgive. Yeah, he can forgive, but there's a requirement on your part. You have to repent of sin, put it away, and you have to put your faith in Christ. Yeah. We have and be changed. Well, Tommy, Are you, you know, when Bible Christ came into my life, I was transformed. Bible? I didn't want to get drunk anymore. I didn't want to fornicate anymore. I didn't want to lie, steal, and lust anymore. So Those things came to an end. There's countries that the Bible That's what it means to be born about. again. There's countries where you would get stoned for reading Really knew you're converted, the Bible okay. calls it. You ever take shrooms? The Bible is I've never done drugs to answer that question. Kerrigan. Shrooms are drugs. Thank you, too. Nice talk. Thank you, man. Yeah, we're about the West Coast. I don't care what the law of the land says. I care what God's law says. I agree with that. That's good. That's well said. Very well said. The party scene, whatever that sin is in your life, so is that more valuable to you than God? Are all y'all from LaGrange? No. Because one day, no, we're going to give an account. One day, we're going to give an account to God. So why is the marijuana plant on this earth if God didn't make it? Well, he didn't make it for you to smoke it and get high, that's for sure. What do you make it for? Well, I mean, whether I have an answer to that question or not that satisfies you means nothing because we know what it was not made for was to smoke it and get high. Evolution. What do you think about evolution? Because your lungs are made for oxygen. It's just off. What about the dinosaurs? What about the dinosaurs? dinosaurs not created in God's creation? No, it, it, in God's image? The book of Job, chapter 41 and 42, talks about dinosaurs. What, what Job they described them. Job just, you can read it for yourself. Job described dinosaurs in Job 41 and 42. So like, obviously, why did he make dinosaurs? Why did he make them? Like, why were dinosaurs a thing in the first place? If everything is creating God's image. Okay, so, so these, these why questions you ask me, they're interesting questions. It's just biology. They're interesting questions, but even if, I, even if I have no answer to your why question, the fact is they did exist, and they coexisted with man. According, no, to the according to the scripture, they did. I'll take the scripture over your science any day. Honestly, your science really. fiction. Science has gone so far, though. No, I mean, it's very you, you think far. about science like in the last, just the last few years. years. Think about the pandemic. People are dying because of the stupid science, man. You can put it, putting experimental medication shot into your bodies to save you from a disease that has a less than one percent kill rate. I'm not like pro vaccine. I'm not like. I'm not saying I'm pro or, or against. It. I'm simply saying that's not the advancement of science. That's a 
We're not That's a going backwards in science. Saying, oh, you know, That's not to help go people. To hell. No, we, we don't want like anyone to go to hell. Hell is a terrible science. place. I mean, God gets put dinosaurs on the earth just because. Like I said, whether I can give you an answer of why he put them on the earth or not means nothing. I mean, they were on the earth. They were made. They were made in the, the sixth day, just like the humans were. All land creatures, according to Genesis, were made on day six of creation. He wants you to get your own right. I don't know. We're giving you that opportunity. I, I do. You know, I respect don't, it. Don't look at Come on. Nah, man, you're a mocker, man. I'm not giving you. I'm not a mocker. I'm asking about dinosaurs. Nah, you're a mocker, man. The whole night you're a mocker. Repent, man. Before you go to hell. God just has all these rules that he just wants to pound you with. No, he wants you to be free. There's freedom in Christ. It's not about just serving God who just wants to put you under his thumb or something like that. No, there's so much freedom. I'm experiencing a freedom that I've never experienced before. Like walking with Jesus. Or Germany. Because there is freedom. When you're free it's not meant for you to answer them right now on the spot. It's meant for you to take it with you and okay. answer to yourself. Do whatever you want to do. Okay. That's not Did you, do you have any questions about the gospel or anything like that? About the word of God? Do you have any questions about the word of God or the gospel of Jesus Christ? Oh, well, I love them. Okay, go ahead, man. Shoot. I don't have any like specific. Okay. What's some general ones you have? So over the past like there's broken relationships and a half. Yeah. There's, I've been going to church. Uh, okay. There's broken marriages that are going to be Before coming. Before that, gonna I've been going to church in about five years. This okay. addiction is going to get too strong What church are you going to? If you don't repent ACC. and get right with God okay, now, that, that addiction is going to get stronger and stronger, and it's going to lead you to the do ACC things that you never Auburn? thought you would okay. ever I'm not, do. I don't, I'm not from around here, so I'm not familiar with that. Oh, okay, okay. There. I think I've heard of it before, okay. but I'm not familiar with it. I was going to the Highlands for two weeks. I knew the Highlands is. You desensitize yourself to it. It's like a You know, you look at the person that's a drunkard and that's been a drunkard for like 50 years. They don't look very pretty anymore. I'm telling you. They don't look very pretty anymore. They don't look very pretty anymore. And now, you know, you what made you want to go back to church? Drinking, it's not pretty anymore. Okay? It might be okay. glamorous for a season. That's hard for you. you There's a hole in my life. Yeah. I was talking to my friend. He told me that that hole is a God church hole. I'm just warning you. Okay? Because I mean, the Bible doesn't say that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with that. That there's there's a place in your in your life that desires a relationship with God, and you're you're not you're not called to to fill that spot with other relationships or other hobbies or activities. So you need to draw near to God for sure. But you shouldn't come to the to the Lord to fill a hole in your heart. You should come to Him because you need salvation. And He calls you to repentance of sin and faith in Him. Right? He wants to transform your life so you don't come out here and get drunk. Instead, you'll live a holy life and be obedient to Him. That's what He wants for you. Because, you know, anyone can go to a building on Sunday, right? Yeah. That doesn't make someone a Christian any more than going into Whataburger makes me a Whataburger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or going into the PNC bank makes me a bank account. Yeah. So, if you want to really be a Christian, what God calls you to is to go and sin no more. Forsake all of your sins. Yeah, that's what he said. Go and sin no more. Okay. Forsake your sins and follow Christ. We don't know how long we have to live. What if I'm not ready to stop sinning? What's that? What if I'm not ready to, to, to stop sitting? Matt ready? Matt if I'm not young. ready to stop sitting, well then you're then you're not ready to be right with God. It means you're currently on your way to hell. It means every moment of your day, you're saying, you don't know when you're gonna die. None of us do, right? You depend upon God for the breath in your lungs. You're breathing in His air. You're living on borrowed time. Okay? You, you're breathing right now. You're not even thinking about it. Your heart's beating and pumping blood through your body right now. You're not even thinking about it. You see, all involuntary things that God created you that way. And continue to live. So every moment you live that you don't get right with God, you're putting yourself in danger of dying and going to hell. And you need to realize that because I don't want you to go there. Man. I don't want you to. I don't want you to get what you deserve. I want you to get what you don't deserve, which is the grace and mercy of God. And He offers that to you through the suffering and death of Jesus. And the only way you can receive that mercy, that forgiveness, is to repent of your sins, turn from your sins. Put your faith in Christ. And you know what will happen if you do that? He will change you. 
but what are you doing with that? When I was 19 years old, that's probably about how old you are, right? Twenty one. Okay. I was 19. I gave my life to Jesus Christ in my bedroom by myself. Okay. He transformed me from the inside out. I came changed from a drunkard to a sober person who never wanted to touch a beer again. From a fornicator to a pure person. From a liar to an honest person. From a thief and a covetous person to a content person. He changed me on the inside. So it wasn't like me working it out. He transformed me, and I no longer wanted those things at all. And torment. It's like the parents. And you do the same thing for you. I'm no one special. This is what he did for me. He offers to you. But yes, you have to come to a point where you, you want to give up sin. You've got to give it up, man. The word gives us the boundaries in our life. And there's a law. Yeah. Okay? The, there's a law. And okay, in terms of sobriety, we thank yeah. God for the, for I, the control of I can control what I do, what I do, what I do. But in terms of like. Those proper boundaries. Lying? That's what they just you can't, you can't change lying? You know, lying. Lying. Like. With the boundaries that he's given to us, so I just got out of a you know, relationship. No fornicator will enter the kingdom of heaven. And like, what is fornication? You know, we don't even know. I was loyal to her all the way through, the but once we broke up, like, so it's just like, but just doing stupid outside shit. Of marriage. Fornicating? No, no, no. no, no close. Not. Close I'm, to I'm it. Married, close to it. Not, not exactly, but close to it. Okay. Sex outside of marriage not, is fornication. Not sex outside of marriage. Okay. I've had no sex. And I've had nothing oral, anal, out. anything like that, any kind of sex ever. 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 Since me and my girlfriend broke up. But with your girlfriend, yeah. Okay. Of course. That's, that's not just I just like I just don't know where to go from there because like I want to be honest with her because we're still friends. Yeah. And these things are sins according to God. There's I still a got this. That God has sent but his word because he I don't know where to go from there. He doesn't want us to cross that boundary. I can't. You I, mean like you want to be honest with her and tell her what you've done? We're going into sin. I don't think you have an okay. obligation to tell her what you've done when you're not boyfriend and girlfriend you're anymore. The but that, that's beside the point. What you really need to be honest with is God. You're lusting. Okay. okay. Right? You need to come before him and confess your sins to him, repent of them before him, and childlike humble faith, believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, and he will change you. He will change you. And you have no problem being honest to anyone at any time. You're not trying to put on a show no, 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 I, or a face for anybody. I don't you mean. Yeah, yeah, just be honest. And he wants you to repent from okay. that pride right. because pride is so, what, that's what caused the devil. Don't talk to my ex about it, but he was actually confess to God about it. An angel. Well, I mean, you can tell your ex if you want to. I, I think it's I do not want to. It's irrelevant at this point. I'm scared to. I mean, there's there's sins I've committed in the past that I probably didn't told anybody about ever. I've only told God about. Right? I have no obligation to tell anybody else about. But if, if you've sinned against her, then you should tell her. But because you're not boyfriend and girlfriend, how are you sinning against her? By doing those things. Right? It seems to me like she broke up with you, right? Is that what the issue is? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I kind of figured that. So, I mean, I don't, you're under, under no obligation to tell her those things. Now, if she comes to you and says, oh, I want to get back together with you, and then maybe you have, you have to tell her that then. But, but the most important thing for you to come to a conclusion right now is get right with God. Okay. All the relationships take a back door to the relationship with Jesus Christ that you so desperately need. You need him. Yeah, be, be sad. You're, you're sad right now because you don't have a, you, your girlfriend's not in a relationship with you anymore. Be more sad that you're not in a relationship with Jesus Christ. How do I come to that? Because I'm not there right now. I know you're not there, but but you need to examine yourself and see yourself in truth. That as a drunkard, you're you're in danger. Yeah, you're in trouble. But not even as a drunkard, but like as me as a person, regardless of the alcohol. Yeah, but at, that's not your only sin. I mean, you've lied before, for right? Sure, for sure, for okay. sure. You, you've fornicated before. You've lusted before. You've 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 probably stolen and been covetous before. All those things are sins in God's eyes. So it's not just a drunk. That's just one thing I I brought because it's obvious right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but. All those things are sins. All those things are sins. Okay. You know, so I mean, if you if you sin just three times a day, which is probably a small number for most people, you're sinning over a thousand times a year. Okay, that's true. Imagine that's committing true. a thousand crimes tonight or this year in Auburn. They put you in jail and throw the key away. Wouldn't let you out for a very long time. Okay. 
So God is holy, he's just, he's gonna punish the wicked. So you need to let that sober you up, let you meditate upon the, the fact that you're a sinner, deserving of God's wrath, and then look to the cross where Jesus suffered and died for you, and offers you the mercy of God. Praise the Lord. So what is separate? God is good. He's well, like I said, it's examining yourself, seeing yourself in truth. His mercy and um, forever. For all I'm those that call upon his name. I'm conscious of me. Like, I, I have known for like, the last two name. weeks that like, I am fucking up. Like, and I'm his mercy right now thinking about it every day. is extending to you. Number two, where do his I get? His mercy right now is extending because to you I, I, as I you sin against him. I've been confessing to God. As you go into the bar. Well, repentance is just confession. As you go and get drunk. I mean, even even confession in the Bible is not just not just America. telling God what you've done wrong. As you go and confession in the Bible tonight, is actually lie, cheat, agreeing with steal. God about your sin. As you go and live That's your what it means in confession sin. in the Bible. So you agree God with God that your sin is wicked and that you should not right be now, doing it, and you don't want to do it any longer. By sending out his repentance is turning from it. As like if you're going, if you're walking Roman, this way, repentance will be going back that way. Yeah. How can they believe? That, that, that's a choice have you have to make, heard. though. No one can make that choice for you. How can they hear? But if you meditate upon the fact of where, them, what, who you are and where you deserve to go and, so and what Jesus Christ did God, for you, we're not that should special. compel you to get right with them. We're not special people. We're just like any other people that are born again that go out and preach the gospel. So if you give me one God, part of the Bible to start reading. What he does, I would start reading life is Matthew chapter me, 5. My sins, he forgives me. He fills me with the Holy Spirit. It's called the Sermon says, on the go, Mount. Go out there and bring some more in, right? And that's why we're here. We're not here to condemn you. A lot of people say we're hateful and we're here to condemn. Let me, let me uh, give you a news flash, folks. Yeah, Matthew 5 through 7. Already. So Matthew 5, 6, and 7, Jesus all three chapters. You're condemned it's already. called the right Sermon now, on the Mount. Chapter 3. It's if you don't the believe, best recorded what sermon I mean by believe, what the ever. What the Bible means by so believing so on that's Jesus. It. That's where I start. not just saying you believe in him and go to church on Sunday. That's not right. believing Let in Let us sink Jesus. in, man. Oh, Believing yeah. in the Amen. Bible. I'll give you one more of those uh, tracks you dropped. Turning from your sin. Take it with you. I'll, I'll pick it. Don't worry about that. Throwing your whole life right. unto the care, Lord. Man. All right, you too. What's like your name you again? Put on a Carter. 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 Carrigan. Carrigan? Yeah. That's, That's what scary. it means right, to follow, Make believe, right, and obey Jesus yeah. Christ. Be safe, man. By the power of the Holy Spirit. A lot of people walk by here that are hypocrites. They curse out of their mouth. Oh, you're welcome. Get drunk. You're welcome. They have sex outside of marriage, and they say, "I love Jesus. I go to church on Sunday." I believe in Jesus. Well, let me ask you something. If I told my wife that I love her, and every day I'm cheating on her, but yet I go back to her and say, I love you, honey. Cheat on her the next day. Come back and say, I'm sorry for cheating on you. I love you, honey. Cheat on her the next day, and so on. Is that love? So it is when you sinners say, I love Jesus, and yet you continue in your sin, willfully. You keep going to the bar and getting drunk. You keep having sex outside of marriage. You keep getting getting high and cursing out of your mouth and doing all these ungodly things, yet you say, I love Jesus. You don't love Jesus. No, you don't. Your lips say that, and you can try to convince yourself that you love Jesus, but you have to look at your life. Jesus himself even said this. If you love me, obey me. I'm not the best. I won't lie. Well, then you need to repent, sir. There's no excuse. Turn to Jesus. You shouldn't try your hardest. You should die to yourself and allow Christ. There's no sin in your life that God can't overcome if you want it to. The problem is, is you want to sin. Put a boy in my head right now. You want, I don't mean die in your body. I mean die to yourself. Die, die to your trying to, to be a good person. Die to your, and just humble yourself before the Lord. Follow Jesus Christ. And stop deceiving Fear God, yourself. keep his commandments. Only Jesus Christ God's can command give you to power you. over sin. Only Jesus. If you're still sinning. Well, no, we're not forcing it on you. You're choosing to listen to it. You don't love Jesus. It's okay to talk about religion. You ought to be scared. All we're trying to do is to open your eyes is that your IQ? to the condemnation that's already on you. And you don't like that because you and your vain mind think that you Sunday follow read? Jesus. You and your vain no. mind think that you love God because you go to church on Sunday or because you're a Catholic or because you're a Baptist or because you're a Methodist. <laughs> so in your mind, you think you love Jesus. But guess what, folks? It's not about what you think. It's about what God says. 
It's about what your fruit shows. What does the Bible say? You cannot bear good fruit from an evil tree. So God bless you with your repentance, sinner. Follow Jesus. You're so bold right now. Won't be bold on Judgment Day. And, and you, it doesn't matter. Virgins are still going to go to go to hell if they're not born again. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It what does matters matter. is Jesus. You must be born again. Even virgins need to be born again. That's right. It's very. There's more sin than sexual virgin, sin. But you can still do other sexual things and still not actually do the deed, and that's still lust and fornication. That's still lust. That's still adultery. God said, Jesus said, if you look upon a woman, and that applies to a man, if you look upon them with lust in your heart, you've committed adultery with them already in the heart. And so you need Jesus in a real sense. If your tree is bearing bad fruit, that's a good sign that you're not following Jesus. No matter what you say out of your lips, you can come up here and yell at us and say, I love Jesus. I go to church on Sunday. I'm this, I'm that. I don't care what you say. I'm trying to help you. That's what I'm saying. Because if you're still in your sin, you do not love Jesus. You are not following Jesus. Don't be deceived. The Bible says, do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Fornicators, drunkards, idolaters, homosexuals, transgenders, effeminate, liars, fearful, whoremongers, or, or, or prostitutes, liars. The whole reason they will not he enter the kingdom of heaven, or like really connected with because you of understand color. that. And uh, now he's like, and we're not saying, saying that whole... because we're condemning yeah, you, we're like... saying that so that your eyes would <laughs> be open. We're saying that so that you can stop pretending. Well, to maybe God. he'll join the call sometime. You can yeah. stop. Yeah. No, you're a hypocrite, Lord willing. Oh, you know. yeah. Very we're saying people, this so you can stop pretending that you love God. Well, God calls you to repent. Stop really loving God through repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. You don't have to go to God loves you as much as He loves me. Everybody right, but if that's not the question. The question is, do you love God? Yes, you love God. But if you love God, you'll keep you His can't. commandments. This is correct. So if you're sinning, you don't love God. So do you never sin? Like, do you I, like, I live hey, a holy hey, life. Hey, I obey God. Like, 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 like only God can judge? Where does the Bible say that? Uh, only God can judge me. Look at the top. So you Only look at, look God can judge me. So you never sin in your life ever. But they say, no, that's a different question. No, I forgot. Saying, no, 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 no. You're saying my sin is so bad. Man does not What's that? Call themselves Christians. No, no. You said I'm talking about. You're talking about present sin. I'm talking about past sin. My sin has been put away. I forsook my sin. God wants you to forsake your sin. No, because your present sin condemns you. No, your present sin condemns you. Filthy mouth, that's not going to save you. God can clean up your tongue. He can clean up your heart. You see? Thank you. You're welcome. So you saying that you love Jesus that read, man? doesn't mean no, you I'm truly good. love Jesus. You see what I'm saying? That read? Yes. Just because you say you believe in God doesn't mean you really follow him. The Bible says you believe there's one God. Hey, you know what I say with those? I say free sobriety test. And they tremble. Oh. So... Because about beer, and it wakes them up. You'll see if they read the Bible, it. When he's, they're crying out of people saying, Oh, thou son of God, thou son of man, don't send us to the pit. They know who Jesus is. You say you believe in Jesus, right? So does the devil. But the devil's not born again. The devil doesn't follow Christ. So how are you any different than the devil? How are you any different than a demon just because you say you believe in Jesus? Look at your life. Look at your fruit. What's coming out of your life? I mean, there's people man. willing to dress half naked out here in the cold. Jesus died for you. Just to go have Suffered a good for you, died for you. If you're Rose willing in the grave, to do that, defeated death, sin, commands all men everywhere to repent. Like Jesus. What's that? Jesus. I didn't hear you. Turn What'd you say? To Jesus. God will clean your mind from a sexual lust. I didn't hear what you said. Sorry. I think there's a better place to do it than on the corner with a bunch of drunk colleagues. That's actually the place we need to be doing it. To appear holy. God is going to give you pure love because God is love. And he wants to make you his holy house. He wants to make your body the holy temple of God. Because right now in your sin, you are not a holy temple. You're a defiled house. You are unclean in the eyes of God. And God's love, God's love is reaching out to you to purify you. The question is, do you want to be purified or do you want to continue in your sin? The Bible says the wages of sin is death. That's where you're going to get with your sin. 
You want to have sex outside of marriage? You want to have fun with that girl tonight? That boy tonight? You want to go and do the thing and then, and then run away or just keep doing it outside of marriage? You're going to pay for that one day. You're going to get paid with death. You want to go get drunk tonight and party it up and club it up with your with your homegirls, your homeboys? You're going to pay for that one day. You're going to be given wages. It's called death, death in the spirit. Is it really worth it? That's the question. Is that good time? Is that is that blunt? Is that drink? Is that sexual partner? Is that lie? Is that tough guy mentality where you want to beat people up? You a tough guy? You a tough girl? You get into fights? Really tough? Oh, the Bible You're not going to be tough anymore on the day of judgment. What up? You're not yeah, going to be tough anymore on the day of judgment. You might know. talk a lot of smack. Sticker, oh, you might get up in people's nah, faces. Nah, it's just a gospel track. Sticker would be great. You got an important mess on that side for you, though. You might get beat down yourself. Yeah, you're welcome. All that's the year trigger on the day of judgment. Because so you're going to stand before God, you're going to be like a little child, wishing that you never did these things. But now you have an opportunity right now to get right with God. And Jesus said, unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. What is repentance? Repentance is this kind of man? It's a mind change which leads to a heart change and a thoroughly amending of your wicked ways. It's a rep it's a mind change that leads to an action of heartily amending your wicked ways. And how do you do that? You can't do that on your own. You can't clean yourself. You can't clean yourself. You can't be clothed with Jesus' righteousness. That's like that's like putting a clean shirt on, on top of a dirty shirt and saying, look at my clean shirt, I'm so clean. No, underneath you've got a dirty shirt. No, you need the blood of Jesus to wash you clean. you got to turn from your sin by faith to Jesus Christ. In his, in his name, by his power, he will cleanse you. He will make you born again. The Bible says in John chapter 3, unless you're born again. What does that mean to be born again? You were born once. What's up, bro? Out of your mother's womb. Die in your sin and burn in the lake of fire. You will die in your sin. And God's love will be wrapped. I will say, even when it's just like me and Jaden, bro, they never And you won't be sharing. You won't be lifting your hands. You won't be partying anymore. You'll be burning in the lake of fire. Yeah, it's a cute. And it's not going to be tough guy anymore. It's not going to be tough girl. It's not going to be fun. You can't. You can't. But God wants to save That's you true. from that. Every There's too much God light. God wants to show you his love. And the, dark, the love the that darkness you reject. Like, you see, God like does ever, love you, ever lived you, in a place where you reject his love. Turn the light on, what happens? You see, God does they love run, you, man. and he wants to save you. He wants to clean you. He wants you move, to make you a new person. Well. He wants yeah. to make you an honorable woman of God that reflects his glory, that draws other people to him. I've had some good conversations tonight. But you say God doesn't exist, right? Where did you come from? Thankful for that. If God doesn't exist, where did your morals come from? Where did your love follow Jesus? You follow your sin. You can't wait for the weekend to go get drunk. You, it's not about, oh man, I can't wait for this weekend so I can go serve God. It's no, I can't wait for the weekend so I can go party and I can go hang out with this girl and, and, and sleep with her and get drunk and all these things. I know how it was in college. I was in college once. I was a DJ, a hip hop artist. I was sleeping around with women too, getting drunk in the parties, spinning records, encouraging others, encouraging others to take off their clothes and, and get drunk that's with me. You see? But I got born again crazy? in college. I got born again by the power of God. And all that changed. And you can change too today. Don't be deceived. You don't love God. And I was a Catholic at that time. I was a Catholic at that time. Just like you, getting drunk in the, in the bar. You got it, bro. And you're not. I do. You're I do. I love God. And I have no exceptions for my sins. Who are you speaking for? Because, you know, I'm a Christian. Jesus Christ. I was born again. How do you know you're a Christian? Me and my girlfriend, I've never had sex. It means I'm a Christian because I'm a Baptist. I've been baptized. I follow the rules. You know what what are you obeying last, God? Last night. Oh, yeah. Are you what? sinning? What? Are you sinning? What am I sinning? Jesus Christ, Christ, Christ died on the cross yeah. for us to sin. No, 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 no. He died to free you from sin. So then what do you do to pray? What do you do to pray? That's what I'm saying. Why, why would you have to forgive sins if nobody ever sinned? Well, if you sin, you need forgiveness. But you so what are y'all speaking on college kids like this? You shouldn't be continuing to sin. 
Jesus didn't die on the cross so you can sin. He died to free you from sin. You exactly. So stop sinning. What am I sinning? I don't know. You tell me. You're the one justifying sin. I'm, I'm asking, asking you, what are you speaking for? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know what your sin is. I haven't talked to you about it. I'm, at, I'm asking, why are you assuming these people are sinning? I haven't assumed anything about anyone. What are you talking about? He, he's saying everybody's trying to take girls' clothes off. Why, why is everybody assuming that? Well, no, if the shoe fits, wear it, man. I'm not saying everybody here is doing that. If you're doing that, no, he's, he's, he's saying that. No, he's not saying that. He's saying that. No, he's not. I know him. I've known him for years now. He's not saying that. He's, he literally just said. Let's just, let's just cut to the chase. Do you have sin in your life? No. So you're living a perfect, holy life. No, I'm not Jesus Christ. I don't live a perfect, holy life. So you do have sin in your life. Yes. So Everybody God, has sin. God calls you. God calls you to repent of that, man. I know. He calls you to. Are you perfect from sin? So you're Jesus Christ. So you are Jesus Christ. Hey, man, chill out, man. Chill out. Okay. You know what you're saying right now? You're gonna no, you understand what you're saying. You just said you were free from sin. You, you want to hear what I actually say, or you want to assume things about me? You just you just said you were free from sin. In Christ, I am free from sin. That's right. You just said you, you're speaking bullshit. Listen to your filthy mouth, man. Listen to your filthy mouth. Oh, and you do, right? Your filthy mouth knows something, huh? You're the you're the model of a Christian, filthy mouth. Oh, that's that guy again. Potty mouth. He's not a Christian. He's not a Christian. You were Jesus Christ. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You're a liar. Go home, man. Go home. Go home. You're not a tough guy. You're convicted. Go home. You're convicted of your sin. You're convicted. Just give it up. Just give up your sin and turn to Jesus. Give up your sin, man. In Christ, I am. to be mad. You're only convicted because of the gospel, man. Turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus, man. He can clean up your heart. He can clean up your heart. Why? You don't even know me. How do you trust me? Is that how you are with guys? You just trust them and you don't even know I find it very interesting. You don't trust Jesus. Why are you drunk, man? I can tell no, you're I'm drunk. Saying the concept if you're drunk, you don't trust Jesus. Even though I'm not. You follow your alcohol. Fine. Why are you out here doing this if you say you follow Jesus? No, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm good. Yes, it, it does. It yes. That means you're not. Um, no, not on me, no. Yes. Or no. See, that's the problem with Christianity in America. Don't touch my mic. Don't touch my mic. Christianity in America is like this young lady here. I believe in Jesus. You're an atheist, but I'm gonna man. I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah, I'm not really. And you wonder why people call well, Christians Well, atheism could be That's why. defined because as religion, actually. you don't actually. really follow Jesus. You only pretend to follow uh, Jesus. But listen, young lady. Set of beliefs you use to your rule, rule your life. Set of followers. Really? You don't have to get drunk. You don't have beliefs? God wants you to be sober and filled a, uh, with the Holy Spirit. Right. Okay, well, how did the world come to be? Honorable? God wants to make you a wife. That's a good question. An honorable young lady. So, do you know anything about quantum physics? A little bit. Well, then do it. Follow him. He like, wants to save you. Superposition? God loves you if what? What does that even mean? You reject his love. Superposition is a... You do. Every time you go and get drunk, physics. you reject... Let Which me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, lady. Physics. I have a wife of 18 not the, years. Not the same okay? thing. And if I cheated on her has nothing to today, and I went and I said, sorry, honey, I'm not going to explain superposition to you. Okay? Let me finish my analogy. Uh, but it has nothing to do with the game. Let me finish my analogy. No, listen up. Uh, if I cheated on my wife, like and I went back and said, honey, I'm so sorry. Are, are you really? saying I need to know the quantum okay. physics and know the beginning of the universe? Then I cheat on her again, I go back and say, honey, I love uh, you. So like I'm so sorry. Then I cheat on her again, and I come back and say, honey, I love you. So what's your explanation? So sorry. How did it all begin? So you're doing the genome. Yes, you are. Stance, when you do things which, that God hates, you, him, him, you have sex outside of marriage? I, I like religion. I think do you, religion do you get drunk? You get drunk. So, like, I'm not hating on you. The Bible says that drunkards will have I'm not offended, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's very hard to offend you, me. You will confess so, that you're drunk. My buddy over there is a physics major, okay. but we deal with nuclear physics. You, we, that's, that's I've worked impossible. in nuclear physics for like seven you, years. You've convinced yourself uh, that because you think that being drunk is okay. Well, you, you've created a God in your mind that says, you know what, I love you anyway. Go ahead, get drunk. Uh, I'm going to receive you into my kingdom. There's limitless that's not what the Bible says, though. That's reasons not why Jesus. something could be. Quantum okay. is kind of crazy to understand doesn't unless you're you like look at it, wow. which no one really understands quantum physics. Oh, okay. So no one why, why I think why there's there's no scientific me. reason why the universe but, began. But that, that, that does not be exist. Be careful. Be there's only theories of why things exist. Your, your shoes are untied uh, too. The best the best explained is within like. I think the number is like I just don't want you to fall like negative 32 seconds. I got you. Hey bro, can you move the time? Hey bro, can you move the time?
Um, so I don't accuse you. The Bible does. Yeah, it was, right. It could listen, be God. It could be a God. You're not on your way to yeah. heaven. To say a definite God, which one that would be, is kind of. But you don't love God if you're getting drunk. I feel like it's egotistical to say. That's true. It's true that you yourself. See, that's know the problem. You, God you've made a everything. God in your mind. That's okay well. I mean, I mean, if drunk. if I had no no reason to believe that, then it would be egotistical. But I have plenty of reasons to believe that God was the one who started everything. Um, actually, Primarily, he revealed it to me. He so, started. So, 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 what are you doing through, drinking alcohol? So, so the law so says the you can't get drunk. The law, the, don't touch, don't touch. Or no so the law of the land says you can't get drunk. But you have faith, too. That's irrelevant. So, That's irrelevant. I agree with You'll you. go to jail for getting faith drunk. Faith deals with the concept Who served you that alcohol? I believe what I believe. They can lose their license, right. and you no. can go to jail for being drunk. No, not me. Well, my my so sins are washed away, and yours you can said, be too. It would you have the belief in what you have said about a subject? No, they haven't been because you're still right, correct? You're still getting drunk. As an I mean, I wouldn't define faith that way. Which is illegal in America. Uh, then we would just differ on a conceptual level. You can't level purge your sins. Only yeah. God can. So then we can never have and, a and you have to repent. A conversation that revolves around faith that we could equate to each other. No, you just you just you define your term. That's all. It's illegal. You define your term. Then if our terms are defined differently, then the conversation we have with that's irrelevant to you. Right now. automatically because that's my different. old so, man. The Bible that's talks about faith man. is the evidence you of things not seen. Lost. Yeah, so you're when you lost. equate that to a scientific yes. sense, they are directly by the fact that you get drunk. So I don't think faith has anything to do with science. There's the potty mouth. No, that's I, the I wicked part. You don't follow Jesus. No, I don't think they're opposition you either. Well, you just define you're faith deceived as the and you're deceived. You this is the problem with Christianity in America. Things that you I believe in Jesus, but I can get drunk. I mean, for example, science has laws that's a hypocrite that we all we all believe are true. Jesus said in John, he does if you repent. Like the most common one I bring up is the law of gravity. Okay. We all we all we all believe that gravity is a law. So let me finish a second. We all, we all we all believe gravity is a law. We all we all walk around like we believe it exists and it's not going to change. It's not going to go away. But we don't see it. But it's scientific. So. So you don't have to be anymore. Okay, I'm trying so to show you guys. Right there this is going to lead you to hell. True. Gravity is not. God a wants you to be so saved. That causes God gravity. wants you to be saved. As you can go to now, to like today. They don't know the Holy Spirit's convicting uh, exactly this why gravity acts on. the way it does. I can rattle off gravitation. I'm not talking about the why. Yeah, but see, that stuff matters when you talk about like. I just say it doesn't matter. I'm just not, that's not what I'm talking be. about. Scientific yeah, law does not always deal with the why. It deals with what, well, it, what, thing, what things are like, what, what they really are. In reality, science should be dealing with those things. And so we all. We all I used to be just science in a, in, a, in a general sense throughout all of history has dealt with like. The, the why, to save you. The why not in like cannot why are the mountains balanced? That drunkenness it doesn't matter. Bro, I go to make I, I could go to McDonald's. Right. Make I mean, you even that's even that space. Private school make you a Christian. But like you, but they weren't that, there when it was formed. You look at but that doesn't make like you plate movement. Yeah. You no, I, I, I don't disagree with so, plate tectonics movement. For example, yeah. gravity is an argument. God, Jesus said, repent of your sin. You turn away from your sin. Gravity in itself is a theory. Granted, it's proven through equations in a sense. And you'll be born again, believing on Him. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying we can know absolutely it's never going to change. With faith that things are not proven through the a scientific will measure of tests and data, but they are do, they are proven the through things of God. You won't even want to get drunk. Anymore. No, I would I would agree with that either. So uh, so my, the thought of a God isn't proven through DJ, science. That's every particle of physics needs to cock well, I mean, that's not dealt with. But, you can so you can say that, but I would I would assert to you this that without without in the beginning God there is no science. I was Catholic and I thought I was saying I can just. Just like Which, you do right this now. is a complete hypothetical. That's not the case. I can God easily to say God that there is a another God that made me born again, made me a new man. Out me. And I you have no arguments. Yeah, I do. In a scientific I have plenty of arguments. Well, not in a scientific sense. Yeah, I do. Plenty of arguments. Joy, gives me love. I Which, don't need no alcohol. Plenty. Any alcohol? You don't know what arguments I have. And guess what? Well, and I'm, I'm saying in a pure over hypothetical years, scientific you're gonna get sense. You're wrong. Everything's on it's going to destroy wrong. your liver. It's going to destroy your brain. So, like, I, I deal with people, people other religions all the time. Quit that like muscles. Yeah. You were talking about muscles in the sign earlier. I, you to die. I thought it was messed up. I saw the muscles all the time. Right now, it's a and I can show them their God is false. But that's from their own writings. Trapped. But it's the same God. It's the no, it's not the same God. Not even close. You just believe in a different, a variance of prophets. That's not true. 
So you said that, that shows your, that statement shows your ignorance. I don't mean, I don't mean that as an insult. I'm just simply saying it shows your ignorance. I, I've but read the Bible. Just something, okay, but that, I, I haven't okay, read the Quran because it's a Quran. I, so I only want to read Arabic. Probably, probably part of the problem. And I can't read Arabic. Oh, well, there's, there's lots of Muslims who can't read Arabic, man. They, they can say you need to read Arabic to know the Quran they want to, but they don't really believe that most of them. In all honesty, your Bible was written in Arabic. No, no. It was written in Hebrew and Greek. Hebrew and Greek. The first language was written 300 AD in Aramaic. Wrong. That's the first. Sin, that your history is wrong. Like well, that's history is wrong. That's, sin, as long as it's in a godly marriage. Then we are already have a fundamental disagreement on the way your Bible was. God created no, you're wrong. Good. You're, you're factually really wrong. But it's, the Bible but it's, was originally in the Hebrew in the Old Testament, but it's too, Koine no, Greek in the New Testament, no, and there are no, no, there are some parts of the Old Testament that are Aramaic, like parts of Daniel are Aramaic. Yeah. But sure. for the and, most and part, the Old Testament was completely written in Hebrew, yeah, and the New Testament in Koine Greek. I agree with you. That. The Old Testament was written in Hebrew. I understand that. But I'm saying the New Testament, Koine Greek, the first, which still is Aramaic. So we already you're wrong. We already have your information is wrong. You, no, you've, been, you've been told the wrong thing. So I understand you, you believe what you've been told, but it's just wrong information. So God, God wants to pull you I've been a Christian for 26 and a half years now. I've been studying these things for a long Young time. Lady, I'm not yelling. I've also read There's no evidence. Don't let her there's no evidence at all that the original manuscripts of the New Testament were written in Aramaic. No, you're not. You're not no. a Christian. Zero. No, I'm not interrupting this. No, you're not. My hardest thing no. with religion you're, doesn't deal with the It deals with strictly scientific information. And you're not a Christian. I don't you think you're, I, don't, I, I think if you really thought it through a little why, better, why you, you would Nirvana? see the he foundation. The foundation of science is in the beginning God. The great question to you would be, how old do you think, like, for example, no, you're not going to snatch this seed, devil. Well, I mean, no matter what answer I give you, if it's not billions or billions of years, you're wrong. You, that's what you would say. But you'd be wrong for saying that. Young lady, don't go to that camp. Like, that's a hypocrite. 100% unproven, like, that's a hypocrite. Are you a sinner? No, you've been told that, but it's not true. It is. It's not true. Okay, so you're not a Christian then. No, it changes all the time, actually. They change the number all the time. Because of Jesus. My question I ask you then is, do you take medicine? Well, here, here's my question before you move on to that. To you said no. it's absolute fact no, that it's millions I'm, of years old. No, billions. Okay, billions. Yeah. It's changed. It always, it's always changing. Because They're always Jesus. moving are the goalposts. Okay. So if, if, if it's factual, absolute, why are they always changing it? Yeah, it is. The Bible says so about if you're this? talking about the Big Bang, yes, theory, you're a pseudo right, Christian. Start off at 2 billion oh, 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 years lady, and then evolved eventually to 13.8. I, I hear you. No, you're okay. do because radiation science develops into a more fine. Don't listen to hypocrite Christians that called themselves Which the age is only God wants to make you a saint. So let me ask you a question. He wants to clean your heart. You take medicine. That's the problem with American Christianity like right there. Type of they want to say they follow aspirin. Jesus, but then they're sinners. No, I don't use big aspirin. The Bible doesn't call no nope. medicine. You nope. call take medicine. medicine no, the only kind of medicine I think is natural stuff. Like, oh, like for headaches, it'd be turmeric. Okay, you're not so listening to yourself. You use deals if with that's not made by man, though. No. Cleansed from my sin, I want to tell as many people about it. Deals radiation health science. They, that's why I'm here. So, so you radiation health science but you can't deals be if you with the dating of material. That's why it's okay for you to take. We're not so sinners, that's a very Jesus simplistic way of putting it, but that's and it's not, it's not, it's actually not true. It is, it is, Me taking curcumin or turmeric for a, a headache or for pain in my body has nothing to do with evolution. Absolutely nothing. You're talking about millions of years, that's evolution. Radiation helps, like half-life decay of Do you know about half-life decay? Yes, I do about radiostep dating, carbon-14 dating. I understand those things, but those things have been proven to be wrong over and over again. Yes. So, here, I've worked in, for example, I've worked in nuclear reactor facilities. I don't want you to go to hell. The radiation health science I apply to keep myself safe when it comes to entering radio, so, so like radioactive says, contaminated the areas, says, what is it's sin? the same and radioactive science that goes into the medicine Some people, people that get drunk to the point where their mind is no, no more sober. The ex I, tell me how radioactive sin. science goes into the, the taking curcumin or turmeric from nature, uh, grounding it to powder, it hold on, and put it in capsule you know, form. But it has to do anything to do with what you're talking about. Because it goes into mere like materials, like elemental compound decay into materials that your body can consume. Your body breaks down certain on the compounds inside. different. You don't need this demonic stuff. Right. God, okay. Make you a new so one. those comp this every compound you use, every compound you use or absorb retroactively it's leading you to hell. deals with radioactive K. It's a, it's a science that has been perfected over a hundred years. Look at what Coming from the girl herself, Mercury, 
the Holy Spirit Curie, inspired them to write what, these words down first. Marie? Because he loves us. He doesn't want but us to Curie, know what right, he wants. Right. Has been a perfected God sign. God wants us to know least, what he wants and what okay, he Okay, so, perfect. so bring, it, bring me full circle. What's the eternal. relevance okay, to our conversation? So, so what I'm saying is, if you look at radioactive health science, yep. and the same science that you will find in yourself, everyone applies when it comes to going to a doctor, whether you take Tylenol or not. Other people do, right? And it works as prescribed. I did. But guess what? For the most part. About the side effects, too. Uh, not, not bleeding a stomach. And not a with Tylenol specifically, to unless you're he, drinking and stuff like that. New man on the with other, uh, with other stuff, depends on the person. Yeah, depends on the person, all right? But in a general sense, most of it yeah. is pretty concrete and aligns with radioactive health question. science. If there are a bunch that of poor same science you apply right? to radioactive health and I have, is applied and I to radioactive decay. Of materials. Would it okay, be right? so Would it so be right whether right so if you think that stuff is not starting? real, then it's not real across the board. You, right if it is you? real, it's real it across right. the board. Right oh no, there's 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 half lives of, okay. of carbon fourteen. There's analogy. there's it's not just carbon fourteen. Okay. I, I understand. So there's decay right rates, but in those decay rates, there's a lot of assumptions made to make make conclusions about can I finish? Make conclusions about dates of different things, whether it's fossils or rocks. There's some uh, assumptions that go into it. Number one, that the, that the rate of decay is always the same as it is right now. Okay. What was in it to begin with, to begin the to begin the, 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 the taking away of it. All those things are assumptions we don't have answers to. And that's not true. Yeah, we don't have answers to those things. I've dealt with radioactive decay. That's part of the, the work I've done for seven tonight. years mm -hmm. is dealing with radioactive decay science. Yes. So I would, what I would encourage you to do is to look up, I mean, obviously, what's going on? It's like you seem, you, you, you seem pretty steady on the, on the atheistic, evolutionary side of these things. Uh, but let me finish. But have you look at the opposite side, where Christian scientists say the opposite of what you're saying, who have PhDs in this field? Uh, to be fair, with you, I'll be honest with you, on a very real level, there's a hundred scientists that a preacher can yeah, maybe five of them are Christian. I'm, I'm when it comes to particle physics and radio radiation health science. What does that mean? That the majority of them don't agree with you. Okay, so that's an ad populum argument. Philosophically, that's a fallacy. Just because the majority say something does that mean it's true? Okay. Well, okay if the majority of the world thought it was okay to murder people, it wouldn't make it true. It doesn't, doesn't matter. The point is, I'm using your philosophy that the majority believes, and therefore, it's true. Well, the majority believe in agreeing with you and disagreeing with me does not make it true. I, I understand what you're saying, okay. and I agree with that okay. sense of an argument. Sure it is. Okay. But you're not applying it to yourself. Hold on, no, it's not. But it's you backed up by, by data. Don't deceive it's just yourself, pure data. No, it's, it's, not about, it's not a matter of data. It's not the issue here, because we all, we all have the same data. That's not the dispute. That's The dis dispute is this what you're looking at the data through. We all have presuppositions, we all have assumptions yeah. that cause us to look at the data a certain way, Those okay? So creationists who are scientists, to to they look at the data, the sure same data are. that atheistic scientists look at, and they come to different to, conclusions. The end question is why? Not because they have different data. And he's gonna, he's, he can so make you I'm telling again. you straight from my interpretation of he scientific of radiation that like decay. Which, sir, I, yes, I've, you know what? once again, God I've dealt with for seven Why? years. It doesn't make you an expert. It, 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 it doesn't make it but the, doesn't the make anything. The math is real. No one's denying math. When, when, well, the difference is between said, life you know and what? death. Right. So if I didn't follow that math and I did the things I was going to do, in certain areas, I would have I used to go, I used to be a DJ, so I was actually... Whereas areas I lived. Right. Okay, but, but we're not we're not talking about no, present you, modern science but and how it affects us. Modern. We're talking about how old the Earth is, dating methods. Yes, that's what we're they, talking about. People coming up and giving me drinks. Is, is a is a one hundred hundred percent undisputed. Once again, yes. it makes lots of assumptions that come to the conclusion it comes it to. It, it, it does. I don't know if you. But no. that was before I came to Christ. I'm not going to question your expertise on the subject you, of radiation. It doesn't matter today. if you haven't done what I've done. I probably was because a lot worse than you. It'll be a, a stupid argument. So if a man whether like me, knows more about a man like me, so I'm not going to. That's a waste of time. Well, not only that, I turn from my sin. Again, it, then it just goes into who we trust. Power, and you can. That's, that's what you're. No, not it's, it, this, what I'm trying to get you to understand is this: is that you trust those scientists, I trust mine. No, that has nothing to do with it. 
What I'm trying to get you to see is this, is that you need to re-examine what your assumptions are, what your presuppositions are when you come to the... You should move your signs from the Okay, I'm sorry, you're right. Appreciate that. Just for safety. Yeah. Blocking the walker. I'll come over here. Pray to God. The Bible says resist the devil and he'll flee from you. I would encourage you to check those things. Okay? Because we all have... Why did I do what? No matter what, any of us out here, we all have assumptions because it felt that we come to the data with, but it and was we make conclusions about the data yeah, it was a good time. based upon those assumptions. So I, I would encourage you to check to your hell. assumptions That's to see if it. they really fit what your conclusions you're coming to. Yeah, they, That's I, all I'm saying. Because I, agree I did what he told me to do, and that is turn from it by his power, only by him, I've done it. And believe on him. And he cleansed me from Early earth creationists. A scientist, a young earth creationist, yeah. Yeah. Young earth, yeah. Earth, whatever you want to call yeah, it. I'm not trying to nitpick. I'm just giving yeah, yeah, you the right terminology. He, he made me a new man. I was Why born these again. All my do. sin is washed away. Um, and he filled me with the Holy Spirit. And I'm absolutely through my own than I ever did field as a drunker. Nuclear plants. Because I want them to know I'm that. Because I don't want them to go to hell and die way. in their sin. That's your choice. One, two. Yeah. And that's just the, that's just the fundamental do difference. What? Well, I mean, if I die right okay, now, well, I'll, I'll leave you with this. I mean, we've had a pretty good conversation, I think, yeah. cordial. I'll leave you with this. Is that because they could I, die tonight? By the way, before you say anything, and this I want to say you don't know that I you're have not God. No disrespect you don't know to the you have. And luckily in America, so I we're love commanded the fact to go that preach the gospel. Come out that's here why we're here. And say what you want to say. Appreciate that. Because that's the reason I'm in the military. Okay. Well, I was in the army too. Yeah. Hell yeah. You have so, I could have died so, in my sin. It was only when it comes to. Knowing anything, absolutely if for you sure. Tonight, yeah. you will not go to the kingdom Science is trying to figure unless those things out and come sins, to proper conclusions unless, unless yeah. about things. Sins, it's hard. Unfortunately, sins, the only way to know something is absolutely evil. true. If I die right now, I'm in Christ. Is to have all knowledge. God has made me holy. And to have be present holy. everywhere in the universe at one time. I will go to the kingdom of God if I Because die the old atheist argument is, well, I can't prove God doesn't exist. But I also can't prove there's no pink unicorn behind the moon. I'm not repenting to okay? anybody. I'm calling So the only way to have absolute knowledge of anything to to is to be omniscient, all-knowing, and omnipresent at the same time. So you don't have to go You to and I are neither of those things. Yes. There's only one being in all the universe that is both That's those things as well as so other things. And so we need him to know anything for anybody. sure. I'm better off so if you're subtracting God from your sort, your seeking after knowledge... Anybody. You're, so you're cutting your feet out from under you. No, no, this is 20 years. That's what I'll leave you with. Yes, if I die to I will ask you one know, question, too, that, okay. uh, that I'm... Yep. So my girlfriend is very... Uh, That's what the Bible says. Very, see, see you, uh, I would say see, the problem is, Ashley, goes to church, you've made very, your own God in your person. mind, Ashley, Practices, and you've convinced yourself of something uh, that's not actually, true. Yet. And she's dating you. Yes. But well, then she's disobeying the Bible by doing that. Well, then you... I'm just yeah. telling you what the Bible says. Yeah, I, he's not, he's not I agree with you. I mean, she can choose to do whatever she wants to, but, like but a Christian is someone who follows what are you Christ. Yes. I, 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 and the Bible says that, that, that darkness well, and light have no fellowship. That's a hypocrite. That you see, Christian. Jesus said in John uh, chapter 8, you're over here. He's, he's I would like to, to ask the, you. The people that a, say they believe in him. In a sense. And they I'm sorry, it's getting loud. Can we go over here? Yeah, yeah. You don't mind? You I would like to ask you in a sense. That's not according to the Bible. You think uh, that you're actually saved, but your life shows that you're not. I'm not Christian, but uh, someone was Jewish, or if you, someone you was. You obviously uh, don't, because Jesus said this. I'm going to read it to you right here. A believer in Islam. If in John chapter 8, there right were people. Would your God. No, everybody doesn't send. In your eyes. No, we don't. Would your God accept no. them into heaven? No. Even though they weren't no. your faith. You're, okay, but first of all, first of all, you're not from God all to know that. Sense. And secondly, you would have Objectively to find it in the Bible. Person. Okay. In the so, Bible. a couple things. First of all, first the Bible is definition of a good person. Hold on, let me clarify. someone who has either never no, sinned no, quiet, boy. or quiet. someone who has listen, turned from sin and listen, been forgiven of their past listen, sin. Listen, listen, yeah. listen. So only two ways you can be good Jesus according to the Bible. The okay? So if someone is presently in sin, they haven't been forgiven of it, they're not a good person, according to the scripture. Number two, imagine someone's out in the Atlantic Ocean. They're drowning. Sharks surrounding them. They have bloody leg. And the only way they can't swim to shore, too far away, the sharks are surrounding them. The Coast Guard comes out and throws them a life preserver. And they reject it. They're definitely going to die now. They're going to perish because they rejected the life preserver. Okay. Jesus Christ, in that Minus analogy, two, is the life preserver. The only life preserver Minus there is. He's the, he said about himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. So, so any other religion that rejects that, that says there's another way to be saved, forgiven of their sins, but through the sacrifice, the suffering, and death of Jesus, 
is wrong, and therefore they're still in their sins, and therefore don't have forgiveness of God. Can I ask you, as a person, yep. do you think if a doctor Jesus himself said, India, if you love me, obey Hindu, me, if you continue to get drunk, you don't love lives, Jesus. Do you personally Titus 2, it says right here, hell for, for the He's grace of God. Yes. Listen, young lady, here's the grace of He's God. He's a sinner. See, see, what you're, what you're doing is you're, you're saying he's done good things, too. But your good things don't wash away your bad things. But, so I'm saying that but you as a person, not as a, that's drunkenness, and not in a religious sense, there's no separating me from Christ in the Bible. No separating me. I can't give you another answer. I'd be lying to you. Okay, fair enough. So the only way for you to receive, because we've all sinned against God, all of us, then our idea of my and your idea of God, if your God is right, to me, drunk, I feel like your your God, you don't have the grace of God to someone who is a good person who may grace, not have believed the scripture. Yeah. So, you're, so you don't you don't understand my God. The God right. of the Bible is not the guy you just described. You yeah. made the God up in your own mind. Yeah. Yeah. That's called idolatry. Yeah. It's, it's just it's a tough one. It's a tough one to say. Well, I mean, I, I don't think you see this the seriousness of sin. I don't think you see the same as you know. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think you see the the enormity of the sacrifice of Christ. And right. what he did for you at the when cross, and that what he, all the suffering he went through. And I think if you saw the enormity of your sin, how much God hates your sin, and how much he despises it, and I think if you saw the enormity of the love of God through what Christ suffered and died, then you would understand where I'm coming from. So I hear your idea. My idea is simply that a creator of the universe, a creator of us, right? A creator of us. You die to yourself, One, you surrender to Christ, and he gives you a his ideals and what he would want to do are up to him in the moment. Right? Would you say that your God has his own mind? He can, he's going to choose what he wants to do. Yeah, but we already know what he's like from the scripture. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. See, to me, that doesn't change. That argument sounds very evil. So he doesn't change. To me, your God would choose what he wants to do if he's all power, all, if he's all powerful, all knowing. Him of himself, he would know exactly what he wants to do in the moment. You would have no idea. No, I, I know because he's revealed it to me. See, but are you saying that God can't reveal to me what he's going to do? But you wouldn't know what he would do 10 years from now. Yeah, I do. Because he says about himself, I change not. Then we already have a fundamental difference in that argument. Well, here's, you see, I would, so you, I would you believe in a God who changes. No, 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 no. I believe in a God that if it's, if, hypothetically, if he's all powerful, all knowing, him in, in that moment, he would do whatever he wants to do. You cannot say what that God would do. Okay, if you so, do, so you're equating yourself to him. But, but you're, 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 you're separating his, what he, he has free will. Hey, do you want to go, are you, what are you doing? Uh, do you want to go to Sky? I, uh, sir, I appreciate you, my friends. Okay, I, it's been a great conversation. I yeah. want to shake your hand. What's your name again? Nate. Nate Kerrigan. Yeah, it's been a great conversation. All right, Nate, good talking to you. Once take one, again, take one to read. I'm good, sir. I'm good. I'm, right. I'm not really, I'm not going to change. But once again, I appreciate the fact that you guys have the ability. Okay. All right. Have a nice night. I have a question, actually. Yes. Is this one? It is. Can, do you mind if I just, like... You put your hand there if you want. I, yeah, I'm just... I don't mind. On your, on your like, poster, it says... Can you turn around for me? Make sure you read the top. Thank you. It says that only God... Make sure you read the top. ...can judge me. No, I, no, I read it. I completely understand. Okay. I know what you're saying. I believe in God. Okay. Like, I'm okay. fully a believer. So you know I don't, I don't actually believe what that says. Do you do what? It says sinners' favorite excuses. Right, no. So these are some of their favorite excuses. That's why they're in quotation marks. There's not things I would say. Yeah, no, I just think sinners say. that only... God can this, judge this me. Is, like I, I agree with that. Like I think, like only God is fully able to judge us. Like who can I give you some scripture? Yes, please. Okay, so Jesus said in John seven twenty four, He said, "When you talk to the people now, He said, when you judge, judge with righteous judgment, okay. and not according to appearance." So He's compelling men to judge, not according to appearance. Like if I saw a guy walk with a pink shirt. And me assuming he's a homosexual, that'd be judging according to appearance. Right. Right, but if he says, I'm a homosexual, a flaming homosexual, and I said, well, you're going to hell for that. That would be a judgment on my no, part, no, no, but it'd be a true judgment. Guess what the Bible says? But shouldn't we as Christians no. not judge others because we don't know the lives that other people live? No. Well, they reveal like, it to us. They reveal it to us. I'm not judging someone based no. on ignorance. No, I understand. Based upon knowledge and revelation yes. and what the Bible says. And so you yes. feel worthy enough to judge? No, it's judge, not, like, not about worthiness. Sure. It's about what God commands like, me to do. You see yourself as like good enough to judge others. Well, Matthew 7, 1 through 5, Jesus talks about this. He said, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you'll see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. So yeah, so if you've taken the log out of your eye, 
if we confess our sin, sin obviously. Okay. then you can see clearly our sins to say, oh, you got a speck there. Let me get that for you. If I have a literally a telephone pole sticking out of my eye, I'm going to bunk you in the head okay. every time I try to take a speck out of your eye. So God, yes, God is okay with judging. In fact, in 1 Corinthians 2.15, the Apostle Paul says, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, says, the spiritual man judges all things, and he himself is rightly judged by no man. Is that okay. We make judgments every day. Because it's right, obviously. Every day. You don't know him. And I know so, says we're human. But. And, and, so, and so when I tell someone you're going to hell, what I'm not saying is this. I'm not saying there's no hope for you. Right. I'm not saying you can't be forgiven. I'm saying in your current state, you're in danger. You die today, you're going to hell. You die in your current state, you're going to hell. But still, there's mercy for you. If you repent of your sins, you can have eternal life. Make sense? I was just, yeah, I was so to read? Temptation is not sin, or else Jesus would be a sinner. Oh, yeah, because no, we're about Jesus to go home. I was, was just tempted. very curious. Okay, well, thank you. I, You're welcome. I mean, this is important. Like, people need to what know about God. I was just, First I'm Christ very curious sin. about Ask all the questions you like. So then do it. saying yeah. and making sure that it's like... What sin what is so strong? The Bible says in Romans, it's impossible. Because you, listen... You keep trying in your own About you, man. You got questions? But what's impossible with man is possible with God, the Bible says. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Just don't touch my camera. You can put it there. Just don't touch my camera. I'm not going to touch it. You talk about the ability to judge other people. That's right. And you mentioned Matthew. Listen, my man. Listen. Matthew 7. My man, listen to me. Listen to me. Those who judge other people will be judged. And all these brothers out here. Yeah, Matthew 7. If you stop just at Matthew 7. one, You might come to conclusions that we can't judge. But Matthew 7. one says, judge not lest you be judged for the same judgment you use be measured back to you. So what's the consequence of judging according to Jesus Christ in Matthew 7? One is you'll be judged the same way. So I have no problem with being judged according to what this sign says because I'm actually obeying God. You see? So if, if, if like, for example, if I got drunk before I got here, and I was calling drunkards out of their sin Jesus and telling them they're going to hell and need to he repent, that, that would be an example like of you. judging wrongly it's according to what Jesus said in Matthew 7, devil, 1 through 5. Okay? But if you read on, even past verse 5, the, Jesus Christ talks about judging who's a false teacher and who isn't. I know this is Judgment is a big part Judgment is a big part of Christianity and God is a person that people skip out on. Judgment is a big part of Christianity and God is a person that people skip out on. And there are certainly points, and scary points, and eye opening points where Jesus talks about going to hell. And it's like. He talks about it a lot. He does, he does talk about it. He's probably it's something he talks about more than anything else. It's true. He does talk Sin, about it. Sin, judgment, hell, repentance. That, I mean, he's constantly talking about those things. No, he does. But he, like, and it's certainly for us as we read the Bible and go through it, it's certainly a message to us. But I think the common denominator is when he's touching on those points, he's talking directly to the Get rid of your friends. No, that's not true. When he's talking to the masses, he's using parables. That's not true. So, so Matt, he does use parables. Parables, but Matthew 5 through 7, for example, the Sermon on the Mount, three chapters in the Bible, okay? He's talking to a multitude of people, and he talks about hell over and over again, repentance over again, sin over again, so he's not just talking to disciples. He's talking to everybody. Okay, so he does speak in parables. You know why he speaks in parables? If you're committing sin What's that? Those who are interested in hearing about the gospel, let them hear. Those people who are attracted, that's the, that's the reason. Okay, so the so the parable is Jesus said that's the reason that so that those who do not want to know, those who are prideful, who are not humble, that they wouldn't see. That they wouldn't understand the truth. But those who are humble and who really want more, they would seek Jesus Christ for more information to be able to understand what he's saying. So what sin has dominion over your life? Right. I'm not disagreeing with you on any of that. If Some of the greatest contributors, Paul, he was a horrible person. He killed and persecuted Christians. He called himself the chief of sinners because of that. And First Timothy. But he repented, right? He stopped killing Christians. He stopped leading them to jail. He did what was right after that. I don't, I don't oh, disagree with the fact scripture? that judgment okay. is a significant part of Christianity. I just... Oh, you're going to where he got, he got angry The part at, about our that? right to Are pass judgment on other people. Him? Judgment's okay, man. As long as you're judging righteously according just, to the scriptures. I don't disagree with that. I just think there are better ways to go. Do you rebuke the high priest? 
Really? Okay. Just wanted to say I'm still praying for you. Still praying for you for your re reversion. And uh, uh, well, you're wasting your prayers. No. Because God doesn't hear the prayers of the, of the wicked. I'm not. <laughs> Well, currently I do need to go to confession, but I still do pray because he still listens. Well, he listens to those who have turned from their sin completely, and who have. are born again. Yeah. That's not you, though. It's not. Oh, you're not born again. Damn. You don't have the Holy Spirit living inside of you. I was baptized two years ago. That doesn't make you born I got again. confirmed this Easter. That doesn't make you born again either. It does. It doesn't. When you put your you find it nowhere in the Bible. You follow Jesus. I, I'm not going to get into the arguments about, about that because you, you've already been presented to them multiple times by us and other people. But I have. But tell me, the, tell me this, tell me this, Keller. Why, why, why do you and the people with you talk badly about me behind my back? Why, why, why do you call people who are with me skellyites? Tell, tell me why you do that. Is, that. is that a godly thing to do? Is that a righteous thing to do? Tell me, Keller, is it? We are, we are rebuking your doctrines, not you. We don't care about your personality. We're not making fun of you yourself. Oh, I beg to differ. It's your doctrines. I beg to differ, Keller. I beg to differ. It's the doctrines that we 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 uh, you know, we, we, you're a hypocrite. S simple as put, you're a hypocrite. So is everybody else in your group who does the same thing, man. You're hypocrites. Open your eyes yes, and God see, man. You, you think you're right with God while you holiness. sin against me behind my back. Do not be deceived. Shame Just on you. Repent. And talk bad about you. Yeah, you we debunk your doctrine. Yes. You don't we, debunk we, my doctrine, man. You don't debunk my doctrine. Yes, you do. Okay. I've God's seen so many videos right now of either other people who are not even Catholic debunk your videos. Oh, this man is right. Okay. Do not be deceived, ladies and gentlemen. You're deluded, man. You're deluded. Your doctrine is wrong. You're deluded. And you are. It is a cult. You are skeletons because there's no other Christian denomination except for people who believe exactly the way you do that is correct. Listen to this. You Why have I ever right? said that? Because there's other YouTubers. You got Y City Preachers. You got Cleveland Street Preachers. You got What about, what about them? Uh, you shall be in free and you What about them? They're all the so same group. There are two. They're not all the same group. It is. No, it's not. They the Yes, they are. The you, oh, you, okay, you I'm sorry. You, you know more about me than I do. You're right. right. I just everything you say about me is true. Know, I don't know as much. You dude, but I've watched. I watch all your videos. Which so. camp you're uh, be and I debunk them on my own. I can look it up. So where this isn't making sense. What he just said right here. Well, that, I go to the scripture. Look at the early church fathers. No, they said this is wrong. So this is wrong. I don't care what the church fathers say. That's all we do. I don't care what the church fathers say. Our friends, and we still love Jacob. We want him to come back to at least some degree of actual orthodoxy. He actually makes it happen. We know y'all are Roman Catholicism is false. It is heretical. I'm not, I'm not going to You're on your way to hell if you continue to follow that way. You're on your way to hell. I, don't, I didn't convert for no reason at all. There's something in there. Yeah, there's some reason why you convert, but the wrong reasons. No. Not because biblical reason, that's for it sure. Was the true church. It's not the true church. And it was the only so way I can forgive myself of my sins. Uh, forgive yourself of your sins? Yeah, it's the only way I can confess them to God and he'll forgive them. It's through a man? Yes, absolutely. We already have we've already discussed this. We are. I've already told yes. you that you don't. The priest does not have the power within himself to forgive sins. Well, I've already told you this. Well, again, it's like the power you, through Jesus, the authority given to by Jesus. Same way, the authority for the and apostles doing miracles. It's not 9, of themselves. The it's through the power of Jesus. Well, and it says so right there. Was it Matthew the that says you, 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 are sins, to you forgive, they'll life. be forgiven, and all sins you be retained? I've already gone through the these arguments. Of wrath are inheriting so, and all you have to do like is just like look it up. The Catechism talks about it to choose in, which in the one same. Of those I know. I know what Roman Catholic teaches, man. Have you, have, will you so confirm? I know you were baptized Catholic, but will you confirm? I was never baptized Catholic. I was baptized as a baby, christened Catholic. I was never confirmed Catholic. Catholic. So you never gone through confirmation? Did you ever do your conf first confession? Nope. So, I mean, that's the reason why. You left because you didn't fulfill all the sacraments. <laughs> and that's why you You're so deceived, man, that you think the reason why I left Roman Catholicism is because I didn't get my first confession and confirmation. The story is the same for a lot of Oh. I reject Roman Catholic because it's false. It's not biblical. It's false. That's why. Except you can that's provide, the only reason I reject it. Biblical evidence for it, nope. along with nope. early church teachings. Early church teaching means nothing to me. It kind of does when they also reference scripture. It means nothing to me. <laughs> it says, so what? Roman Catholics reference scripture every once in a while too. Doesn't make it true. Yeah, the average Roman Catholic that, that's out here on the street today is probably need to go to confession. Right? That's not the average. And then help them, right? Like it could. Oh. It can. You get the forgiveness. They just gotta do them. They gotta do the work themselves too. They gotta going to a guy in a booth, confessing your sins, and will not get you forgiveness of sins. Stop deceiving yourself, man. You're right. It's not just some random guy. It's the guy that was given the power. I didn't say it was a random guy. And those priests have no power from Jesus Christ. They are deceiving yourself. It says so in the Bible. It never says that in the Bible. You assume it from the Bible. 
your false interpretation of what Jesus said to Matthew and to, and to Peter and the rest of the disciples, you you correlate that and push it forward to your modern day priest, which is found in the Word of Scripture. Except for when you have early church teachings that also back it up. I don't care what they say. They're not Scripture. They're not inspired. The Bible Scripture. The Bible is inspired, not early church writings. You understand that it's not inspired, but there's... Then stop appealing to it for, for doctrine, then. I put a God's word for doctrine. There's never been... There's never Anabaptist theology, which, is, which correlate a little bit with... I'm not saying you're an Anabaptist. But they don't mix. It mixes. It's, it's all <laughs> moralism. That was in Zingley. Zingley. I can't even say his name. Are you Oh, you got one. He's German or whatever. All that never, was never believed in the first 1,500 years about the Lord. So you don't believe in God? I do believe in God. He loves you very much. Yeah, that's true. He loves you, Ben. Yeah. He loves you and he forgives you for all your sins. Okay, this doesn't mean we just need to start you know, continuing in it. Yeah. I'm bro, right now. Let me tell you something, bro. I'm fighting demons. Well, you probably are. Are you a Christian? Yeah, I believe in God. Uh, I go to church. Even the demons believe. <laughs> yeah. No, I got you, but you just go to church all you want. There's areas in the world that have not heard God. Hey, bro, this is just sitting there. So this yours? It's, it's just sitting there. So there are people that are getting stirred up I, to go reach them. But if I get it back there, there. I'm glad I didn't get taken. I, I was actually over there, and I went back over there and talked to somebody else. I just noticed it was there. I was like, there's nobody in here watching it. Oh. Doesn't matter. Well, they're dying because they're sin against God. So Keller's going to come to me and tell me he's praying for me to, to, to revert back to Catholicism. Yes, it is. They chose to sin. So you don't and I asked, him, I, I asked him, I said, let, let I said why are you going to come to me and tell me you're There's praying for me, but then behind man. my back you'll talk badly he's about a, me. He's like a, oh, we like don't do that. We just, we, just, we just make fun of your doctrine. We refute your doctrine. He's a liar. I mean, if you were an unbeliever, right? And a Christian was but sinning against you constantly. Would it make you no want to convert? To tell the gospel, no, wrong. man, you don't want anything to do with That's that. That's why a lot of people leave. <laughs> That's exactly like, right, yeah, man. Allah That's wasn't right. giving him the answers he needed. Yeah, literally, he's Something lying to your face, like, but come back. Longing but come to back. Know yeah, who God is. exactly, man. And so, That's crazy, yeah. I just like, I gave him the, the Roman Catholic track. I have some tonight. And this happens in the Muslim world. This happens in areas where... There's no Christian. I don't even, around. like, I can't if engage. If a person it's really wants to know God, it is, yeah. That's and, and why I walked away. This, it it yeah. hints towards this And look, he did this with someone else. He's not far from them. He yeah, travels land and sea to make one person. He's not far from them. God will make a way for that person if they genuinely right. want to do right. You have to come through Jesus Christ. Even Follow Jesus Christ. He died for you. He commands all men everywhere to repent. I'm already saying. No, you're not. Jesus, he died for you, and it's brought me to my knees. suffered and died but for it's you. Not a, it's not where I'm Jesus commands you to repent and follow him in holiness, obedience. Psychologically tuned to when they get Walk touched, by they're going to fall out because they want to look like they have the Holy Ghost. There's a psychological element there that people do that's wrong. Just like speaking in tongues, their tongues. There's a genuine gift of tongues, which is an actual language, but it's not a bunch of English syllables string together. That stuff. That's not tongues. That, tongues in the Bible is an actual language. Like if I, if you spoke Spanish and I don't know Spanish, and I started speaking Spanish by the power of God, and you understood me, that's tongues. God supernaturally gave me a gift right that moment, and that still happens today. But it's not this fake hatashaya. Those same people will go out there and sin every day. I love God. Then obey Him. My wife was supernaturally healed from an incurable disease in her uterus in the middle of my bedroom in the middle of the night. I, I had demons. I had demons cast out of me, like literal demons. She had endometriosis. What's that? So, so she she had like bleeding pain. 
What was it? Okay, question? I don't realize, like, the whole point of it. You don't realize the whole point of it? Yeah. Well, the point is to preach the truth. Yeah, Jesus, Jesus Christ said the truth will set you free. Yeah. So you can be set free from your sin, from condemnation, from hell, yeah. from guilty conscience, from shame. Yeah. He said you free from all those things. If you repent of your sins and turn to him in faith, he can deliver you from all your sins. She was already crying out to God. He called because God put her on her heart. And then he prayed, we prayed, and instantly she went from knife-like pain to nothing. And it never came back. Nah, so I agree with everything. Yeah. I'm not lying to you. So are you, are you following Jesus Christ then? Are you trying your best? Try your best, okay. Well, I mean, what he calls you to do is to surrender everything to him. To turn from all your sin, from drunkenness, from sexual immorality, lying, from stealing, from a potty mouth. He can set you free from all those things. I was 19 years old when I became a Christian. I was not raised in a Christian household. I was a drunkard, born a kid, alive, and probably a lot of things that you are. I was those things. Oh, yeah, I'm 19 years old. Okay, there you go. But I'm not wearing a GoPro. I wasn't what does that mean? I, and then I was, I had a, I mean, I had a healing like, take place in my life. Like what? There was a season where like I, I got sick, I got a right reason. little branch block. And there was yeah, I do do it for a reason. Protection. An object, objective witness to things that are going on. Yeah. To check myself later on to make sure I'm saying the right things. So yeah. There's some of the reasons why I wear it. So yeah, some of the reasons. Yeah, I've had, I've had problems with cops and unlawful people doing things. I've been arrested illegally before. If I didn't have a camera, huh? Where? Louisville, uh, in front of Atlanta Brave Stadium. Um, I was made in North Carolina. So three examples. So how do you provide for your family? How do I provide for my family? I work. Work. I'm a graphic designer. Yeah, man. Take care. Is that what? I, I, I'm a graphic designer. I'm a freelance. I work for myself. Work from home. You want to preach, bro? I'm not like, no, yeah. antagonizing you. I, I don't feel antagonized. Okay. Just give me answers to the questions. Yeah, I, I mean. You want to preach? I'm not Catholic. You're Catholic? I am Catholic. Yeah, that's it. Well, I was, I was raised semi-Catholic. I wasn't like devout. Okay. But I went to church on like the holidays. I was Catholic. I was never confirmed or anything like that, but... No, I'm pretty Catholic. Okay. Well, I mean... I just, I just feel like, like... Just recording people makes them uncomfortable. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry it makes you uncomfortable, but I'm not going to stop No, you. I'm... <laughs> I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. I'm just not no, going to stop you. No, you're people. not making me uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, you can see it from the other side, you know? Sure. Just, I mean, there's a girl earlier tonight who, who took one of my tracks, and the whole time she's talking to me, she covered it up like this. I mean, yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Well, I'm not like I'm here to like exploit people or like that. I'm just, no, we're not. just trying to protect myself. That's all. I just, I just feel like <laughs> you make somebody comfortable. Make what? Like, I feel like there's extremes to everything. Yeah. What about walk back to Hell's place? Yeah. Okay. Bar, bro. We're about to go to the to my mom's crib, bro. To the Airbnb. Kerrigan. Kerrigan, nice Carrigan. to meet you. Me too, Luke. Hey, right. for the read, man. I'll tell you, but hey, all right. Be safe, man. Good luck to you. Follow Christ. Oh. Turn from turn from sin. Give it all up, man. That's right. Follow Christ. They said, he said he's praying for me that I'll come back to the, the Mother Church. He didn't use that terminology, that's what he said. That I'll revert, I guess. So why would I, I mean, why would I revert if I already converted? Where are we going? But I, I, I confronted him directly. I said, I said tell, me, tell me, Keller. I said, you say you're praying for me to come back to the, the church, but Where are we going? do you also talk badly about me behind my, behind my back? Yeah, he does. God he, he, he denied it. Yeah, no, he's, he's lying. I, just, I have the group chat called, yeah. called your name. Yeah. Like, so and I said, I said, why do you, why do you make fun of me? Call, call me a cult. Call people skellyites, and then you pray for me. You think God's really gonna hear those prayers? Man? That's Here's the so good. Complete denial about the whole thing. So I just rebuked blade, for that. Blade line. Yeah, I rebuked for that. Oh, you did. I mean, he can go confess later on and repent of that too. Yeah. 
you know, going to a man that wouldn't do confessing, he has the authority to, from Jesus Christ, to freaking remember sin. So, right. yeah. Yes, many so of you things that were judgments. Well, I'm a Christian, and you need to you need to give your life to the Lord. So, are you living holy? Catholics are not holy. The Bible says that dogs are outside of the kingdom. Are you a Christian? I was just about to say it. Good job. I'm sure all of us thought that. Revelation 22, 14, bro. Amen. <laughs> But God can give you holiness to where instead of saying arf, 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 you can say holy, holy, holy. You can say holy, holy, holy. And Jesus Christ, he can put that, that cry in your heart. Many of you don't even know what it means to be born again. You know, so many hypocritical Christians are here in the oh, yeah. South. We don't all sin. Hey, bro. Temptation. I'm going to is oh, a okay, choice. Yeah. You, you have the choice hey, I'll, with I'll every single temptation, you guys, and you can have the power of what, Christ is your, to the overcome. Mic? Is that yours? Yeah, it's mine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just, but just my friends, you must okay. turn yeah. from your I'll, sin I'll today. Yeah, appreciate yeah. It. You must yeah. turn to Jesus Christ yeah. today before it's too late. Hey, bro. All right, now, man. Yeah, bro. All right, bro. See you, man, brother. Love you, bro. All right, bro. I'm getting ready to leave. Love you, bro. Love you, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all have to say this is right. You get in your mid forties, bro. You gotta. Yeah, Jesus right. You gotta clock out. That's right. For those who do. That's right. For, for those who do know him.